Well, good evening and welcome to Conscious Gatherers. My name is Beverly Thompson and I'm here with AJ Royce. Good evening. All right. Uh, we're a day earlier this week because uh, Halloween is tomorrow. So we have a little bit of a story to tell you. Not a little bit, we're a story <laughs> a happening. Uh, but uh, I wanted, uh, I better say the date is no, try again, <laughs> October the 30th, 2023. <laughs> Yeah. What is time? Not <laughs> sure what month it is. <laughs> it is the end of October, and um, what a year. What a phenomenal year. Yeah. And a lot, from what we're hearing, a lot, a lot, a lot more to come. So how's that? <laughs> All right. Well, welcome. Uh, we appreciate your uh, listening tonight, and or whenever you listen to it. <laughs> but it is, uh, it is an evening here. Um, all right. Uh, yes, we did get, um, more insights in the last few days that we're going to share with you. But, um, even before the insights, we wanted to mention, um, a little bit more about Halloween. Um, all right. Just, um, a lot of people are really fascinated by haunted houses or haunted trails or haunted this, haunted that. Because it's that paranormal, and um, and people will delve into it and say, "Oh yeah, I want to see a ghost." Blah blah blah. Other people will say, "No, I don't want to see one." <laughs> and uh, a ghost can be just a, a you know a person that has no longer has a body, uh, corporeal word used body, physical body. Even though you can see, many people can see and feel a physical essence. Um, and many of those that stick around, uh, when I say stick around the earth in a more physical manner, are ones that are a little afraid to go on. Um, yeah, I, the best way I could say that when I say go on, uh, I would say to the higher realms. They're like yeah. stuck. And some of them still don't <laughs> even realize that they are um, no longer have a body. So it's, it, I know it sounds pretty weird, but. <laughs> and uh, and, and there are some, you know, you hate to say it, but there are some who just like to um, create havoc, <laughs> you know, by by sticking around and messing with people. That's what you know, the one reason why they don't go on. Do you think? I I guess I I don't know the reasoning, but um, for whatever reason, maybe it's because of the life that they lived. They just don't see that there could be anything any better. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But there they are, and they mess with people. They mess with people. So, yeah. So, mm-hmm. talking about messing with people. So, um, if you do have that interest and you want to go to a haunted place, do keep in mind that if you allow it, they can follow you home. Mm-hmm. So, um, do you really want that? Do you want them living with you? Uh, and sometimes they they come in uninvited, um, and then they'll leave. And um, uh, that has happened. Um, I've shoot, I've had entities through this house, and um, through a vortex of energy or whatever, being up from this earth or not. And um, a lot of times I'll just I, I, you know, said, hey, you can't be here any longer, and I close up the vortex. So there is a way to do that with your consciousness. Yeah, and when when they're hanging around, you can usually uh, feel it because they they'll some will begin to feed on your energy, you know, because they're running low. So mm-hmm. they'll feed on you, and and you know you don't need to go through all of that. So uh, you can help <laughs> them to move on. Yeah, close up the vortex like like Bev did, or whatever. No, I've had my, my husband who uh, passed away in 2012, he'll visit ever so often, but I have never feel any at all threats. You know, it's yeah. really uh, an, a loving thing when he comes in. So um, to give me information or just to observe what's going on. Mm-hmm. So a um, little bit of both. Mm-hmm. So it's, that's pretty neat when, when that happens. Um, I would like, Royce, you have a story to tell. So Yes, it actually happened last Halloween, 
um, my brother and I were standing at the door. Some kids had just come and we gave them their candy and, and they went on down to the road. And as we were standing there watching the children going up and down the street, uh, somebody pushed in between my brother and I, pushed their way so they could go out, outside. And so um, I don't know if they uh, came to to our house uh, because somebody else brought them there or if this person had been lurking, you know, who knows. But they were in there and they pushed through to get out. And I actually saw the, the person, it was a man. It was like a dim light was shining on their their face and upper torso, and that is all that I could see. And they were following some people down the street. So, you know, be mindful when, when you're out trick-or-treating. Uh, have good thoughts in your mind. Uh, see white light. Use, use your mind, the power of the mind. See white light around your body and just just think good thoughts, a higher vibrational thought um, because these uh, entities who are looking to feed on somebody's energy, they feed on the lower frequencies. That's where they get their power from. So that's what I had to add to that. So if you want yeah, so if you want to get rid of them, that's what you do. Just, you know, just project that white light, make yourself as such, just stand there and just picture it surrounding your body. Yeah, no, white light is synonymous with love. Um, so if you, if you are agitated or something, you know, that's a lower vibration. And so that's uh, an attractant to these types of individuals. So just try to keep your vibration up and whichever way works for you. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say this because mm-hmm. it just came to mind. Because, and I've heard this. I have not experienced this. But sometimes you'll have entities lurking in bars. Yeah. And so uh, those that have a tendency to drink a lot, um, they may follow you home. <laughs> and um, so be aware of that. And then you can, you, know, do the, you can do your white light and get rid of them that be aware of your frequency when you leave a bar. Yeah. Yeah. And and at at any time, you know, just be aware of your frequency because, you know, you can have a few drinks and still keep your frequencies up. So, you know, it's all about, it's all about uh, your vibration. When I say frequency, I'm talking about keeping your vibration up, the, the frequency of the vibration. Yeah, thank you. All right, any more on Halloween? Nope, I think I'm done with that. Yeah, actually, I'm done with the, the scary stuff for Halloween. Yeah, I, I don't like it. Yeah, it, yeah to me, it's like, <clears throat> it's, it's that uh, people get the adrenal, adrenaline uh, rush uh, with being scared, and, and that's why they like these scary and horror shows. And it's like, uh, are we done with these yet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Guess not, because there's still it's still happening. But it's like it's kind of it's creepy. Yeah. All right. Are you ready to go on some brighter things? Ready. All right. <laughs> um, well, Royce mentioned love, and um, she ha- she has a wonderful insight that will she will share in just a bit. <coughs> and, excuse me, and it has to do with uh, a lot of love in it. So, um, uh, listen. Um, Really listen carefully with what she what um, she's bringing through. Um, and for myself, um, I've got a couple messages that um, I received uh, one a few days ago that I thought I would uh, that I would like to share with you. And um, and then I'll go on to what came through today. So, all right, let's let's go with it. All right. 
It is important to remember this is the time or moment of great transformation. I think many of us already know that. <laughs> uh, otherwise, you wouldn't be listening to us, correct? Okay, the earth may seem like it is in much chaos. However, it is in the throes of overturning the nuances of what has been into a most beautiful spectacle of life not yet experienced on this globe. It truly is a momentous sequence of events which have been and continue to be in motion. Civilization on earth shall see a big decline on the structures perpetuated on them, all of us. Yes, liberty shall rise. And as uh, if you will recall, I want to go back to listen to our last podcast that um, Royce um, did read the poem. Poem, yeah, called <clears throat> "Liberty Shall Rise." So um, it's something that we both received quite a few months ago. So uh, I know we've mentioned it um, a few, a couple times in in podcast podcast, but it is uh, something to take in. All right, so I'm going to go go back. It said yes, liberty shall rise. It is a liberty that frees man from all obstacles through the use of coercion into a free-flowing river, ideas put into use for the human form to thrive. And thrive you will. The earth will take on a new face, new flora and fauna. There will be continued uprisings. However, these will soon fade out as more people see no use for these with, without the governmental structures that are now falling, old regimes failing not to return. Be vigilant as these processes unfold. The glory of God is in each one of you. Know this. Soon you will know the true meaning of this. Stardom in the making. You're here. <laughs> yeah. So um, that was a few days ago. I think it's one of those uh, nights that I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> and so I got up and wrote, and that's what came through. So um, I think that was a, quite a message to come through. So yeah. we're going to start them in the making, all of us. All right. <laughs> Next. Um, today, um, I heard the following, um, and I'll just share it. Go right into it. All right. What is this new day you or we have so often spoken of? First and foremost, it is momentous, not only for you on this earth, plane, excuse me, not only for you on this earth plane, but beyond time and space. Really hard to comprehend that, isn't it? It's really, it's momentous beyond time and space. It's like, okay. <laughs> All right. Then I then I um, I I got the, these words. This is a few, quite a few minutes later, and I was hearing cyclone of information. So I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, different words used, but they said um, cyclone of information is being released. It is a rebuttal to the deep state and their antics. Release the information. We hear, release the information is what those talking to us, we hear you say, or saying, just give us the information, just give it to us, right? Like, we can, we can take it, we can take it. I mean, I've heard, heard this over and over. And then I heard, take your time to ingest the information. Much of it will be overwhelming for many of you. It is time to make new choices ones that serve you and serves your brothers and sisters of this world. It will be like a circus act, lots of balancing going on. Many people will shut off the world and enter into, into their cocoon until they are ready to face their reality. And that was it. I'm like, okay. Pretty profound. Yeah, yeah. So... um Please, Royce, would you share? 
I certainly will. Okay, this is what I got. I'm just going to go into it. Get ready. We are walking beside you all the way. Focus upon the higher vibrational, loftier aspects of living and pay no attention to those who monger fear. And at that moment, um, my mind went to the Wizard of Oz toward the end where the, um, the man was behind the curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. He was pulling all the chains and making all the racket and and uh, the billowing out the the uh, smoke screen and everything, uh, causing fear. So pay no attention to those who monger fear. Deception wears many masks, and surprisingly. Some masks appear to be quite pleasant, while others are frightful to look upon. Hold this in your minds during this time of Halloween. We who have come to be of aid and who represent many nations from far and wide throughout your celestial view, growth of the people. Yes there is growth, although it is seldom spoken of through the media stations. Be strong in your upbringing of solidarity and truth, for it is this solidarity, a firm foundation, the solid rock upon which you stand that will carry you through. Make your greatest effort to be a pillar of strength, and your effort will be returned to you at least tenfold. We walk beside you, for we are heavily vested in the uprising and exposure of peace. Your wars, your fighting, and your lies are a detriment to all of us. We feel the ramifications of all you do. We beseech you to please put forth the effort required at this time to truly evolve. It is up to you, each one of you, to stand up for what is right, to proclaim that truth prevails. It is love, my friends. Love is the strongest bond the strongest force throughout the expanse of space. Will yourselves to use this power for the greater good. You must conquer your fear by replacing it with the power of love. Hand not your will over to the guardians of destruction, for the thing that will be destroyed is you. You must strengthen your sense of will and use your will to be the guardians of peace by rightfully using the power of love. With the greatest respect, we are your brothers and sisters from the stars. Now I'm going to go back and reiterate something that was read here. It said, be strong in your upbringing of solidarity and truth, for it is this solidarity, a firm foundation, the solid rock upon which you stand that will carry you through. Now that phrase, the solid rock upon which you stand, is a direct quote from none other than a Christian hymn. The words are, on Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Now, this is referring to the Christed state of being, that which is strong and full of the power of love, and it is that love that moves mountains. So if we want to make a change, it is love that is going to do it. 
And I wanted to mention something that a friend mentioned to me this morning, um, something that she had heard on a podcast about um, uh, Christians uh, decorating their houses at Christmas time being targeted by um, those who are trying to take down the Christian religion. I want you to give that some thought to be fearful of something that is meant to celebrate life is contradictory to life itself. So let us all be respectful of one another and of our beliefs. It is not my place to tear down your religion, that which you hold dear to your heart, and it is not your place to tear down mine. So let us respect one another. There is room for all of us here. And the way of fear and lies and destruction is anti-life. So let us put some thought into that. Yeah, I for, <clears throat> when I heard this, I first thought it was fear mongering. Yeah, and it, I still feel that. And some people may be nervous to to put out any Christmas decorations, and really, Christmas is celebrated not only by Christians but other religions yeah. just as well. Just the the whole festivities of the of the holidays, or the return of the light is what I like to, mm-hmm. to call it, um, because it is in uh, in the during the um, what do you call it? Solstice. So, um, which is, I think, on the 21st. Mm-hmm. So, um, to me, it all blends together. It's another reason why we, we celebrate Christmas at this time, even though it's, you know, the, the birth of Jesus, which is my understanding is not in December anyway. But it doesn't really matter because it, it's, it, it has become a tradition, a birth of the light within us. Yeah, a time of the return of light. Yeah, mm-hmm. being the, the solstice and, mm-hmm. and our days started getting a little bit longer after that date. So uh, to me, it's another fear mongering thing. And if you want to celebrate, celebrate. And it, uh, you had mentioned solidarity. Yes. And there's a lot of people that really want to do this. And, um, you know, uh, you know, there might, there, there may be some, um, dissidents out there, but are you going to let them stand in your way? Yeah, we spoke, I believe it was last podcast about, you know, um, if you want to be a sheep and be led to the slaughter, then that's your choice, but it's not a very good one. <laughs> really want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, okay, do we, do we obey or, or do we stand up and say, I want to live? Yeah. So I'm going to read that. That little section okay. again. All right, please do. Be strong in your upbringing of solidarity in truth. For it is this solidarity, a firm foundation, the solid rock upon which you stand that will carry you through. And so embrace that which is you. Yes. And so what is, uh, you know, at which, you know, I was asked, what is this new day that you or we have so often spoken of? What is this new day? And, and I wrote down, um, listening to, to Roy share is it's the power of love. So it changes everything, everything, everything. So if we were all in in the power of love worldwide, and I would I would have to say most all people live in that, even though we see those um, that are acting out, and why are they acting out? I know is it confusion? Is it that they they um, are being propelled to do this? Um, but what's in their true heart? And, I, and I, I'm seeing actually right now is a turnaround for many of these people um, that are saying protesting 
Um, and they have a right to do that. But a lot of them are going to say, well, wait a minute. I don't want to harm another. Now, why, what would be the good in that? Yeah, there's, you, can, you can speak out against something all you want. That's a, a really nice right that we have in this country, in the United States. And I'm holding on to that. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, do, do not be afraid to speak up and to speak out. Your truth, your love. But, you, but we do not have a right to harm others. We don't. I agree. Totally agree. All right. Well, <clears throat> um, it looks like a, a cyclone of information is being released. And um, we may be surprised at some of the information that's coming out. I think a lot of it's already out there. I mean, there's so much that's happening on a daily basis, if you really want to look at it or not. I think... Um, you know, a lot of impasse and intuitive people like Miss Royce does not look at all the things I look at <laughs> and, you know, comes up with the same stuff. So, um, interesting, um, you know, things are in the airways and how we pick up on that and, and see the metaphors in life, all of that. Um, if you really look and you can start understanding and, uh, and it's, to me, it's okay to question okay to question like the government like what are you guys doing <laughs> you know um why are we giving money here why are we giving money there and are we really want to support you know this idea <coughs> which may not be friendly to ourselves it's like it's just some of the things that are going on to me are just ludicrous so mm -hmm. it's really to speak your mind that you can do it lovingly and the more that you do it lovingly then is that is the energy that so softly goes out and hits everybody. Here, here. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, thank you. Um, we're happy to share our messages with you. And um, I think some pro more profound information is coming out. And stay vigilant. Um, don't go into the fear. Um, sometimes you know, we may want to hide. You know, it's too much uh, uh, information or maybe overwhelming. If it is, then back back off. Take a walk in the woods. Take a walk uh, outside. Um, um, whatever you need to do, um, because things will rise up within you to be looked at by you. And either you keep it or you release it. Um, do you have any anything to say on that? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, just it's just interesting, and uh, mm -hmm. and that to assist those that um, are asking to be assisted. But it's up to you. You know, they they may want you to do something that you're not comfortable with, and you have every right to to speak up, and um, somebody else will step in, um, or you can help that person in another way. So all of this is happening now, and will continue to happen as. Um, uh, this world seems like, as this world, as it appears, is getting crazier and crazier. But it's for us to take our own um, responsibility, our own power. Now, again, it's not a power over somebody, but power within. I just thought of that that old TV show, As the World Turns. There is another meaning to that. As we turn around. So we're we're in the midst of that turning around and that's that's the part where things feel like it's it's really dicey it's everything is shaken up and moving severely um so hang on tight know that you're loved and um i, I believe these um beings that um our brothers and sisters of the stars saying we walk beside you i believe mm -hmm. that you I mentioned that so um, there are, there's a lot of assistance. We may not see them. You can call it God. You can call it Jesus. You can call it whatever you want. But we do have assistance. You only need to ask. And, um, 
are accepted and accepted. Um, and it's up to you. But that is the power of you. You don't have to do everything yourself. <laughs> so um, there is help out there or help within there, <laughs> however you want to look at it. All right. Well, our next episode is going to be, um, we're going to go back on Tuesday versus this Monday, um, which is going to be the November 14th. So, um, you know, that will be up about that time. Um, what else? Okay. I have a little okay. something to say. All right. um, I, I know several people who have had uh, surgeries or are looking uh, in the new, near future to having sur- surgery. Our uh, Egypt sister, Judy, she's uh, going to be having surgery soon. And love and blessings to you. And uh, my my brother, who's healing from surgery, love and light to you. And and also to my other brother, who is <laughs> experiencing like a flu-like thing. Um, but, and to all of the people around the globe who are being affected by conflict. Our, our love and respect and the highest thoughts are with you um, as we move through this. Uh, portion of our history soon to come. Love builds bridges that cannot be broken. Love heals wounds of all types. You, my friends, are loved. Thank you for staying. Thank you. I'm going to bring this up. I I hesitated, then I'm going to bring it up. So, um, those that are, are that continue to get the uh, the boosters and the flu shots, and I've I've heard of quite a few people that have um, gotten a flu shot and they get sick immediately, like they have the flu or they have um, other symptoms. Um, and before you allow something like that in your body, find out what's in it, and and then really ask if it's for your highest good, and and, and whatever that is, whatever's for your highest good. And so is it something that you really need to put in your body or not? You know, is it going to help you or not? And even helping you, that can mean different things. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to stay here on earth or not. (laughs) Kind of putting it blunt, but um, it just, just, just know what you're doing. Um, Yeah. Take the, take the time to ask yourself, ask your guidance, whatever that guidance is to, to, for some clarity on it. Mm-hmm. That's part of that new day. You know, it's like we don't even need any vaccination. I was, I remember getting that for one of these episodes. It's like none will even be necessary as we're moving into the higher vibration. So think about that, what you're putting into your body at this, this time. So that's all I want to say, but only because I've heard so many, I, I've heard a few people that have been sick and the family's been sick because of a flu shot. And um, that makes me think that it's probably not the best thing to put into your body. So, all right, got that out. (laughs) All right. Um, Thank you. Remember, you are loved, and you are extremely powerful being. time to know that. Yes. If you want to get a hold um, of us, um, you can call. (coughs) Excuse me. Contact and and leave your name and your number and who you want to speak to. Uh, The number is 864-999-3008. And um, uh, then we'll get back to you. Or uh, or really the big thing is um, you can write your comments on our YouTube page, our channel page. And, um, you know, we do appreciate those. I do get a lot of nice uh, comments from um, my subscriber list or people that I know and they write me, they they don't put it online, but uh, where it really hits them. um, Some of the things that we're talking about really hits them deeply. Yes. And I wanted to say a a special thank you for those comments because they really do mean a lot. You know what? We we go through um, times when, you know, we might get a little down too and just to, just to hear that somebody was inspired in some way by something that came out of our mouths 
means a lot. Uh, and that thank you goes a long way. So thank you. As we said, we take this very seriously, and um, and we we I speak for myself. I love it um, because it's just you know I, we spend the day and just tuning in and lots of laughs and and then also a lot of deep um, introspection going on. And so um, it's just really it's um, it's been a joy to my life to do this. Yeah, and it, it has been for me too. And even though. It seems like a, a lot of the the understanding that I get is from experiencing some things that were really uh, a, a bit uneasy to go through, you know. But w- when all was said and done, what I got out of it was far greater than than the pain to get it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's it's uh it's been it's been a wonderful thing for me as well well we do have those times and you know i i call them i'm just going to say it outright our holy shit moments <laughs> so, <laughs> lots of those lots of those so it's like okay <laughs> now what is that what that means and you know a lot of questions that you know i i constantly question so and many times i get the answer so and who's that answer is coming from you know, our brothers and sisters to the stars, coming from some of the masters, and my higher self. My higher self, yeah. Yeah, or other aspects of myself. So, um, in fact, this week, um, shoot, was that yesterday? Yeah, it was like another merger of another part of me. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure what all that's going to look like yet, but we yeah. were realizing this was going on for both of us. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, Okay. And then where's this going to take so take us? So, but but you know. know that in itself is encouraging because it it leads us to believe that there is something coming for for which that's going to be needed. You know, it's just amazing how that works. <laughs> All right, thank you again. We'll be back in um, a little over now, a little over two weeks, and we appreciate your being here with us and. Um, any questions, any comments, we appreciate those. So thank you, and good evening. Good evening.